What's up everybody? <clears throat> Looks like we got the inaugural 2020 uh, bass outing today, finally. Uh, if you want to take a look at that water, it's uh, looking nice and crispy. Not a lot of ice out there, so we'll get her done once we get uh, once we get this boat in the water. So we'll see you in a little bit. Now we're back to green flag racing. Sweet cash, bro. <laughs> I, I missed the eyelet, apparently, when I was re-rigging. Okay. I cannot believe I did that. Yes, I can. I guess I was getting jelly of watching you on the dock, so I was ready to go. Doesn't feel too bad out here for being like a balmy 35. If you catch a stick fish, I'm gonna count it. Killed it. Although the biggest fish I've ever seen was on the spinnerbait. I think I told you about that, so. Usually there's about a 15 foot moss bed that comes out all the way up in here. And then this last summer, it filled up the whole like back forth. So it was tough. A little bit windier up here. I'd take a fish at this point, you know? Yeah. Doink. I'd be shocked if there's anything where I just threw. Water clarity is a little worse here. Yep. It, it moves the spawning bass back out deep when it rains a lot, but then it moves the white bass in. White bass are fun to catch too. I'd take it. What? I thought I said stop. Yeah, right. You ever ate white bass? Yeah. I have some in the freezer at home. I haven't ate them yet, but they're like big old steaks, basically. No, I was just wondering if you saw that dope cast, that's all. Probably a little bit early yet. If we fish long enough, we'll catch one.
piece of head I didn't want to get caught in the trolling motor. Appreciate that. A little bit of ice back here. Not much, though. That'd be sweet to catch something from under the ice. By Waterworks. And there's carp and trees out there. Yeah, dude. Just stuck. Dead. What does that sound? Alright. I want to check it out. I didn't know if there was like fuel pump. Transducer, why would that click? It does kind of sound like that might be what it is. I can hear it out of the back of the boat. Yep. Or if it's just cold. All right, well, good to know. On a normal day of fishing, for sure. Takes a special dummy to be out here today. Hey, right, I'll take it. Catch a double dig in here, that'd be sweet. Set the Iowa State record. First ice out. <laughs> Farm pond fish. Oh, that's my favorite, is fishing with people who every time they bump a log, oh, that was one. You can kind of see like the channel right here. It's a little bit lighter here and it gets darker. That's good for bass fishing too, right? Boom. <laughs> Dang it. This is my first time. I need a non-sinking miniature jerkbait. Somebody who knows what they're doing might... Uh, I'll be able to tell. There we go. What? I got my suspending bait. Not a fish. <laughs> I'm giving her all she's got. Need more power. My full send is about 12 yards right now. I think the best color is going to be the one that catches fish, you know? I'm no betting man, but that's what my money would be on. That's all right. Today was more about getting the boat ready and making sure everything worked. Well, it's the next day. 
we didn't uh, we didn't do too great at the first body of water, so we decided to pick up and leave from there to a second body of water. Um, GoPro battery died, big camera battery died, so I wasn't able to capture any of that uh, anticlimactic magic. So I think we're gonna wait a little bit, and we'll wait till uh, water temperatures pick up. Right now, it's still in the mid 40s. Um, ice out has been you know maybe a week ago, so. Uh, bass bite's gonna still be slow. We took an L yesterday, and that's all right. But uh, let me go through, go through, and kind of show you what we were using a little bit. We have like the mini. Get that to focus a little bit. The mini jerk bait, a little bit bigger jerk bait. Bluegill jig and pig. Yep, I broke off a dead rig. No, this ain't focusing very well. And then we just slow crawled um, beaver baits, crawl baits. You know, we focused on uh, main lake points, secondary points off the body of water, uh, flooded timber, rock piles, things like that. We just, we really couldn't get the bite going. Um, we did have a couple that we didn't capitalize on, so it was a slow day. Anyways, like I said, we're gonna we're gonna wait a little bit, maybe try this again here in a week. Um, we do have a big trip planned. I will talk to you more about that later. <laughs> um, but we're gonna get start getting the boat ready a little bit. Uh, and that was more about what yesterday was for, just getting everything ready, so. Anyways, until next time, we'll see you in a bit. Thanks.